Passion Cam, I hope everybody's doing well. We've been talking a little about first aid in these last uh, few episodes, and I thought we would continue about that. The last time we ended up talking about splinting. Now, a splint is something that's going to temporarily hold something in place. So if you had a broken finger and you split it, you put a splint on it, it keeps the finger from moving. That's a splint. So again, it temporarily holds something in place. Now, whatever part of your body is out of place, such as a leg, a finger, or arm, if you're capable of splinting that, then that's going to help that person out where they don't get additional injury. And most times once you splint something, you may decrease the amount of pain that the person is having from that particular uh, joint. Say they've got a broken bone, well you want to make sure you, your splint goes above and below where the break is. So you got to cross over the break with your splint. If you don't cross the, the break with your splint, then the, that particular extremity is still just kind of flopping in the breeze. If you have the opportunity, you know, pad it first before you put the splint on that particular person. Uh, if you don't have anything, maybe you may pad it with a towel, you might pad it with a washcloth. And then you use what's available to you around the house. It might be a broomstick. Um, could be a curtain rod something that might be available to you around the house and you take that and if, if you don't you could use a belt you could use tape you could use rope um, this anything can work again we're talking about improvising and making your split so anything that you might be able to utilize to keep that particular extremity from moving around while you wait on more professional help to come get it done correctly and to get it done right but those are things you could do. Say you're out and you're on a hike or something and somebody gets an injury. Well, you could split that too. You grab a, you know, a couple trees and maybe take off your belt, maybe take off your socks, um, could be used, maybe your undershirt, anything that could make it all the way around that particular extremity that you could tie down with would, would help to uh, put your tourniquet in place. Well, not tourniquet, but your splint. Tourniquet we don't want you to use unless you've got experience in knowing how to do that. And a splint you want to be cautious with uh, when you put your splint on. You, you want to cross, you want to make sure you got both sides of that particular injury within the splint. And then uh, you don't want to wrap too tight because you don't want to cut off the blood supply to either side of that particular place where you have the wound. And when you put a splint on, if it's on the, the feet, make sure you, or if it's on the leg, make sure you check the feet and make sure they, they when you squeeze it, it should turn pink and then, and then go back and forth. So make sure it can do that. The saying that foot's getting enough blood supply. If it's on the arm, you know, pinch the finger and make sure you see the blood go in and out of the finger. Uh, that could say that it's enough blood supply getting to that hand. But you want to be careful. Uh, a splint is, can, can cause damage as well, but in an emergency, some of those tips I just gave you may be helpful. On that note, be blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.